Here's a fascinating question. Which is bigger, 50 to the 99th power or 99 factorial? Both are astronomically large numbers, so a direct calculation is completely out of the question. The real question is, how can we possibly compare them? The key insight is this. We don't need to calculate these numbers. We just need to compare them. And the most powerful way to compare two quantities is to look at their ratio. So let's write down the ratio. 50 to the 99th in the numerator, 99 factorial in the denominator. If this ratio is greater than 1, then the top is bigger. If it's less than 1, the bottom is bigger. Simple as that. Now, to really understand this fraction, let's expand both the numerator and the denominator into their fundamental pieces. The numerator is just 50 times 50 times 50, 99 times total. And the denominator, 99 factorial, is 1 times 2 times 3, all the way up to 99. Here's what's beautiful. We have 99 terms on top and 99 terms on the bottom. This matching structure lets us do something really clever. We can rewrite this whole thing as a product of 99 smaller fractions, each term in the numerator paired with each term in the denominator. And our goal is to figure out whether this product is greater than 1 or less than 1. Now, let's look closely at this product. This isn't just a random collection of fractions. There's a beautiful symmetry hiding here that we can exploit. Let me write out this product more explicitly, showing the terms around the middle. Notice the term right in the center, 50 divided by 50. This term is the fulcrum of everything. It's exactly equal to 1. So we can just replace it with 1. Now, look at what's left on either side. Every single term in the left group is greater than 1 because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Every term in the right group is less than 1. But here's the magic. What happens when we pair them up symmetrically? The real magic happens when we pair terms from the outside in. Watch what this reveals. Let's take the very first term and multiply it by the very last term. We get 2,500 over 99. And since 2,500 is way bigger than 99, this product is definitely greater than 1. Okay, let's try another pair. Second term from the beginning, second term from the end. Same story, 2,500 over 196 which is also way greater than 1. This pattern looks really promising, but to be completely rigorous, we need to prove that every single symmetric pair has a product greater than 1. So let's think about a general pair. The kth term from the beginning is 50 over k, and the corresponding term from the end is 50 over 100 minus k. When we multiply these together, we get 2,500 divided by k times 100 minus k. Now, here's the key question. For this fraction to be greater than 1, the denominator has to be less than 2,500. So let's find the maximum value this denominator can possibly reach for our range of k. Let's visualize this. The function f of k equals k times 100 minus k, which is the same as 100k minus k squared. This is a downward-facing parabola, which means it has exactly one maximum point at the vertex. The vertex is at k equals 50, where the function hits its absolute maximum of 2,500. But wait, our value for k only goes from 1 to 49. And as you can see from the graph, in this range, the function is still increasing. So the maximum in our range happens at the largest value of k we care about, which is 49. Let's actually calculate this maximum. We need 49 times 100 minus 49, which is just 49 times 51. And here's a nice trick. 
We can use the difference of squares formula. 49 is 50 minus 1. 51 is 50 plus 1. So this equals 50 squared minus 1 squared, which is 2,500 minus 1, 2,499. And this is fantastic. The largest the denominator can ever be is 2,499, which is less than 2,500. So every single symmetric pair for any value of k in our range has a product strictly greater than 1. All right. We have all the pieces. Let's put them together. Our original ratio is a product of 49 pairs, and we've just proven that every single one of those pairs is greater than 1 times that middle term, which is exactly 1. And when you multiply a bunch of numbers that are all greater than 1, the result is definitely greater than 1. So this proves that 50 to the 99th over 99 factorial is greater than 1. And to get our final answer, we just multiply both sides by 99 factorial. And there we have it. 50 to the 99th is larger than 99 factorial. What I love about this is how we went from a completely impossible calculation to a beautiful, simple argument about symmetry. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this proof, Give it a like and subscribe for more beautiful mathematics.